This is TJ with Bull Ridge Plumbing. We're at 6819 Moreland Avenue, making a dirty movie in the basement. I uh, went through the floor drain overflow, trying to keep me in the house because they're tired of me embarrassing the neighbors, but, you know, they need something to talk about, too. We're currently 87 feet out. I believe we're at the city tap. Um, I've ran quite a bit of water to get the camera down here, so that's why I'm pretty sure we're... It's city tap. Yep, there we are. It's going to be kind of hard to see here for a second because we've got water dripping off from all the water we've been running. As we come up the pipe, you can see we are on a vertical line right here. We flatten out. You can see we've got a, is that a leaf. There's a leaf stuck to the pipe there. Um, rubber gasket. We're in a clay sewer line. Just backing up here. We're coming back up on the vertical or on the horizontal here. Had to take the guide ball off to get down this overflow, so we're running right on the bottom of the pipe. All in all, it looks like, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, it is a clay sewer. We expect to see roots, a little bit of scale, a few little separations like this. Nothing major so far. Couldn't really see a lot of it coming down because I had so much water running to help me get the camera down. But I do know that we've got a few spots like this one where we have some roots. You can see that they are impeding in the flow line. The camera actually bored its way through that joint right there. Back up, you can see those roots there. All those roots are right in the bottom. They're beginning to impede in the flow line, or in the flow of the waste and the water, and will become a problem eventually. Because of spots like that and a couple others, like right here, we are going to recommend that we do a sewer clean, and we're going to treat this sewer with Rudex. Rudex is a foaming root killer that will fill this pipe up completely with root killer, kill it top to bottom, up in those crevices and everything, and keep them at bay for up to a year. We do recommend that service annually. Here's another one coming down there on that left side. There's more roots that we need to get under control. The nice part about the Rudex is we treat the sewer with the Rudex and it kills them all for up to a year. Then we treat it annually with Rudex and we don't have to continue to do cleans. We just let it roll with the Rudex. Right here we transition from the clay to the cast iron that's under the house. The cast iron has some buildup in it, like right here. Because of areas like this, I'm going to recommend that we do a descale with a soft machine that we have. It will actually help round out that pipe again and get rid of areas of debris like that. Help break up this sludge. There's some more paper on the top right side. It'll, uh, it'll just make everything flow better if we can descale this pipe. I'm accessing the sewer through the overflow of the floor drain. Doesn't look like it gets much use. So you can see there is some debris here, so I'm going to recommend that we also run it down this floor drain line through that overflow. Here's another issue that we have. Here's our floor drain. And I believe that's kitty litter in the floor drain. Not a good thing. So we are going to recommend a sewer clean treatment with Rudex and treatment with Bio One for that sludgy buildup that we see down in there. This has been a Borage Dirty Movie production. Thank you.